Hey guys, welcome back to the next part of the video. Today we're going to continue with the little firefly. We're going to continue talking about skinning and rigging. So let's get to it. This is where we left off last time. We were doing the, the skinning for the little firefly and we finished the wing here. As you can see, if I select this bone right here, move it along. It's very easy now to control only the wing. Nothing else but the wing is being selected. So now, even though it might seem a little bit um, tedious, we need to do the exact same thing for everything. Now, the cool thing is that we do have a mirror function, so I'm going to see if we can get uh, get it to work. It sometimes bugs a little bit. Uh, but I'm just going to select the geometry, go into my uh, paint weight tab, double click to open this up. And again, let's start, for instance, like left antenna. So for the left antenna, I'm just going to paint on the value of one. I'm going to very fast paint all of these guys right here. Now, uh, Maya is very smart in regards to geometry, and, and it knows that when I'm painting, I'm only painting on certain islands. So as you can see, unless I really go like out there and, and paint something that I shouldn't be painting, it, it's going to respect the fact that I'm just painting this guy right here. Now, if we bring the value down to zero, we can turn off all of this weight. Like I don't want that antenna to be modifying anything but the little cable, just a little cable. Now, I'm not worried about super cleaning this up because once we start painting the, the max weight on other parts of the character, this weight is going to abandon these areas and it's just going to start going to the to the areas that it should be. So, for instance, here on the antenna, I'm just going to, again, paint this real quick. There we go. And uh, even though it's not completely uh, white, it, it will work fine. We can test it real quick by moving this thing around. As you can see, there's still a lot of things going on. That's perfectly fine. It's, it's completely normal. So let's go now, select this guy. Let's go again, paint skin weights, double click. I'm gonna go to the head. I think the head's gonna be important. Let's go to select. And what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm gonna turn off joints. We can actually, we don't need to see the joints when we're painting because this is all information that's uh, being done like behind like cameras and stuff. So I'm just gonna grab all of the areas here on the, on, the, on the thing. And it's gonna be very easy to just double click to deselect any any like extra geometry that we selected that we don't want to influence so you can see all of these things let's get rid of that and that and that there we go and that so i know that all of this area everything that i've selected here all of these vertices are going to be attached to the to the head not this of course so now i just go into paint and i'm going to say flood at one and all of the head is going to be completely, completely white. It seems like we forgot a little bit of a piece there. So let me go back to selection here. Let's deselect that. There we go. And I'm just going to say uh, paint. And we're going to paint uh, with white. So now the head is completely being uh, influenced by the head joint, not the antennas or anything else. Now you can see there's still some influence here. And I don't want that. So I'm going to go back to select. And now I'm going to start selecting all of these areas that I saw had a little bit of like influence. And again, this is an easy exercise for, for rigging and skinning because everything is solid. Uh, sometimes when, when you're working with other characters and stuff that, that the form, like skin and muscles, that gets a little bit trickier. But this one should be fine, so let's go back to paint. And I'm just gonna say value of zero, flood. So now as you can see, there's no uh, influence there. I'm just gonna go into uh, paint. Let's go and select. It seems like this guy's also had a little bit of, of value there. So just very quickly. And again, the cool thing is when you get rid of a weight on this bone, it's automatically going to jump to the closest bone that it can find. And it's going to it's gonna transfer that weight where it's supposed to be. So now let's go to the chest, for instance. And as you can see, the chest also has a lot of, uh, a lot of influence here. So I'm just going to go select. And first, I want to fill the things that the chest is going to be like selecting. So again, just double click all of these guys. A little bit tedious, I know, but it's a lot faster than trying to um, like manually paint everything. I'm not going to grab that last sphere because that's that was already skin to the to the wing, at least on the other side. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, just make sure that we're grabbing everything. Yeah, it seems like so. We go back to paint and flood with a value of one. We hit flood. And as you can see, all of those areas are now going to be influenced by the uh, chest. Again, I don't need to really clean up like other parts of the character. Like, for instance, this leg right here, the front leg. I don't need to clean it because when I go to front leg one, like all of this area right here, let's go to select and I select this first section and probably this first section, if I'm not mistaken. 
uh, I can just uh, say paint, and when I float to one, automatically that's gonna get rid of the of the values from the chest because the, the chest can no longer hold any information there because the the bone from the leg is now it now has the the full influence on the element. So hopefully that that is uh, it's clear. Like you, you can't have more than one like like a value of one anywhere. So now we go to let's go to the front leg one, which is this one right here. Let's go to select. We're gonna select the whole thing. It is the whole thing. So I'm just gonna go uh, and say paint, and we're gonna say with the value again, uh, one again, just uh, flood. And then we're gonna go to front leg two, which is the, the little thing. We're gonna select front leg two. I'm probably gonna select this guy, paint and hit flood. Now let's give it a, a shot. So I'm gonna bring the joints back. If we move this guy, the whole leg moves. If we move this guy, this section moves, and then we move this guy, the little antenna moves. So the bone's not exactly where it's supposed to be, but it's fine. I mean, we could, we could, here's where we can do a little bit of deformation. So let me go here. I'm gonna go to uh, front leg, front leg two. I'm gonna say paint. And what I can do is I can, let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Not as small. There we go. We can paint a little bit of influence here. Maybe that not not that much. Let's do like a like a 0.7. Just just a little bit of influence here on this area. There we go. Then we can do there's a smooth option here to smooth the weights a little bit. And now what's gonna happen is when we turn this around, there's gonna be a little bit of a bend there. See, so it looks a little bit nicer. So that's what we do with with the, like a full character. We we create that sort of stuff, and uh, it, it uh, of course creates like the nice movement in arms, legs everywhere. So let's jump onto the next leg very quickly here. So I'm just gonna double click and we're gonna go to the mid leg. So mid leg zero, same deal. As you can see, this this uh, like way that I'm teaching you, I think it works very fairly fast because we just select, select, we go back to paint and we do with a uh, replace uh, value of one. Whoa, 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 what happened here? I messed something up. Uh-oh. Don't tell me that we messed everything up. <gasps> oh my god. Let's go back. Seems like at, at one point or another we flooded the whole thing with one. Okay, there we go. Seems to be working. Okay, that works. Fine. Let me let me save this real quick. So I'm just gonna save because I haven't saved. So let's call this Firefly uh, Rig. Now the cool thing is this Firefly actually has the um, the UVs from from the past uh, series. If you haven't seen it, we did a series a couple of weeks ago where we modeled this guy and we textured it. So eventually we could just uh, bring textures in, post and animate it even, and, and it's gonna be cool. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a little bit of an animation with this guy. I think I, I think it would be fun. So let's go back here, double click. Let's go. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to go. So select, and we're gonna select this guy and this guy. We're gonna go to paint. Replace and flood with one. There we go. And then we go to front mid leg one. Do the same thing. Select. Select just the, the, this guy. There we go. Paint and flood. And we go to leg two, which is the final one. Select all of those guys. All of those guys. Paint and flood. There we go. And on this side, uh, we're gonna do the same exact same thing. So on the back leg, back leg zero. I'm gonna do la left uh, back legs because we're gonna be mirroring everything. So here, same deal, select. Select this guy's paint and flood. Select this guy's paint and flood. Select this guy's paint and flood. And oh, I actually forgot about this one. There we go, paint and flood. That's why also modeling in, in clean way, in a clean way, it's gonna be really, really, really helpful for us. Now, finally, we just need to do the um, the tail. So I'm gonna go to the tail. This is gonna be very important. So for the tail, we're gonna go again into select. We're gonna select this whole like barrel thing, the spheres, and very important. We have a lot of, of stuff of, uh, back here, like the light bulb and stuff. Eventually, we're, we, we would need to uh, either like rig the, the little like coil for the light or, or parent it somehow so that it follows everything. It's gonna go paint. And we're gonna say flood. There we go. So now, as you can see, if we grab the tail here and we move it, 
the tail moves in a nice way. Same for everything else. Now, of course, the wing is, is looking weird. Now, I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to say skin. And I'm going to say mirror skin weights. We're going to mirror on the y's, uh, see, and then positive to the negative, so f from plus uh, x to minus x. And then we're going to do this closest point on surface, one to one, and we're going to hit apply. And if things work the way I expect them to work, we should be able to have a nice transfer of the rig. As you can see, certain areas might not work exactly. There's sometimes a couple of like errors here and there. But everything else seems to be working fine. Let's check the antenna here. Yeah, so everything seems to be working fine. I think it's only the, the wing that had a little bit of a of a messed there, messed up trans transfer. But that's fine since it's a it's a such a simple thing. We can just go back to the wings here. Let's go back to the right wing now. And yeah, you can see there's a couple of points there that are not painted. We can just manually paint them, no big deal. give it another go and there we go so now as you can see all of the of the bones let me let me turn off geometry that we can select it we can select all of the bones now and if we were to grab like this guy and this guy we can move the the wings around to make it like fly we can move the antennas around they're mirrored which is very cool for us if we grab like a leg, for instance, and we grab the three points of the leg, we can do the little claw thing that we talked about. So we need to do like a, like if he's holding something or whatever, by modifying, in this case, the y-axis, you can see that it, it, it moves in the right way, in the right uh, direction that we want. And this is uh, happening for all of the elements, like all of the little things here. If I select just the y-axis, all of them are gonna move in this very nice uh, position. Well, you can see that the bone there is, is going out of the leg. That that means that there's a, an issue with the with the skinning as well. So let's select this real quick and see what the deal is. Mm, shouldn't be though. Oh no, you know what it is? Uh, I think this guy has a little bit of weight, does it? Because remember we talked about how the little tips, we, we usually don't use them at the end. So yeah, for some reason, Seems like we lost the uh, we lost the weight there, but that's fine. I'm gonna just leave it like that for now. And uh, and yeah, that's it. So one of the cool things about rigging, other than animation, of course, which is really really handy, is the fact that with a proper rig like this one, we can pose the character. Posing a character really really brings uh, them into the next level. So one of the things that a lot of my students ask me when they are approaching their final uh, like uh, classes, when they're about to graduate is, I want to prepare my portfolio, I want to be a character artist, but I, I don't want my character to be in the typical T-pose, right, where he looks like super boring. That's where posing comes into place. And and posing with a very simple rig, like what you just saw, like we've, been, we've invested about 30 minutes from the rigging section yesterday and from today into, into rigging this guy. And as you can see, it, it, it works very nice. It, it's fairly easy to create a rig, especially for this type of characters, which are like robots. And now we can pose it. So, so let's do a little pose here. So let's do a very like minimalistic thing. So I'm gonna just create like a big sphere. And I want this little guy to be on top of the sphere, like kind of like hugging it, right? So if we didn't have a rig, we would have to position all of the single geometries in a, in a very weird way. So here I can grab my root joint and use it to position the, the character as close as possible to the to the way I wanted him to look, which is going to be something like this. And then I can just start going little by little. Like let's start, for instance, with the chest and say, you know what, let's bring the chest down like this. And then the tail, we're going to bring the tail down as well. So it's hugging the surface right here. And then this leg, for instance, we're just going to move it like this. And then maybe we want this to like go to grab this one because the rig broke there we're gonna go like back here like this and then maybe this arm we want him to kind of like be uh holding on to the, the little sphere so we just rotate this whole thing and then we can use the last bone here this one let me again deselect geometry i don't want to be selecting geometry just position this one right here so that it's touching the the circle and then this one let's make this one say hello like hey I just finished my first rig. So he's really happy. Let's grab the head. Turn it around a little bit. Kind of like a like a happy dude. Like this antenna. We don't want any weird overlaps. So let's move this antenna here. 
and this one right here, the wing. I want him to show off his wings, so we're just gonna move them like this. Maybe this one's back there. Then this leg, let's let's make him rotate it like this, so that we see a little bit of the of the coil there at the end. Yeah, it's a small section. And there we go. So we have a very happy-go-lucky um, <laughs> little uh, guy right here that we're gonna be able to get a render from. So let's talk about the render because I did mention that that's something that we could do. Um, I'm gonna show you one very cool thing. So if you remember, I'm gonna save this real quick. We have the render scene from the from the Firefly uh, that we did. So we have this Firefly render. And one cool thing about having multiple or having your project set up in, in this way, in, in like sharing things and stuff, is that in here we already have the materials that we want for the Firefly. If we take here, control A, and we go all the way here, we have this M Firefly, which has all the connections already done. Remember that connecting things can be a little bit time consuming sometimes. Well, if we go into the Hypershade, one thing I can do is I can just grab this M Firefly uh, material, and I'm gonna say File, Export Selected Network, and I'm gonna export this into the Assets folder. Let's go into the Firefly, let's call this it's, I'm going to export this as a Maya ASCII file. I'm just going to call this Firefly material. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, my God. It's allergy season back here in Mexico. And um, and things are tricky. So now I'm just going to go back to the Firefly rig. Uh, don't save here. We don't need to save anything. I have this little guy right here. I'm just going to grab him. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say file, import. And we're gonna import from our assets folder the Firefly material. And now we check our render, the Firefly material here, uh, here Firefly material is here, and it should have. Oh, what? Why did it not have? That's really weird. That's really weird. Oh, it's this one. Is this Firefly material underscore M Firefly? Because I think the Firefly that we had before already had a one assigned. But yeah, you can see it right here. So all the metalness, the, everything with the UDIMS and everything. Remember we did UDIM setting setup, so it's right here. So we can just select the body, right click, assign existing material, and we assign this thing right here. And if we go into number six, we should be able to see the preview. We're not seeing it just yet. So let's do a quick render. So I'm gonna say lights, sky dome light. Let's add a nice sky dome here. I'm not gonna go as dark as what we did for the for the render that we had before. So let's go this one, decor shop. Let's find a nice frame, which is of course the one that you saw on the thumbnail. I'm gonna kind of hide the the back of the character so that we don't see the light because we don't have any light. And uh, let's save this real quick. I'm gonna change the options here on my render setup. So this is GPU, and let's see how this looks. So yeah, this is this is rigging, guys. Uh, rigging is the art of creating a, a skeleton using joints, using these virtual bones, and connecting that skeleton to the geometry so that we get the, the results that we are going for. So we can pose the character, animate the character, move the character in ways that will be very time consuming to do it uh, just with the, with the geometry. So yeah, here's our little guy, <laughs> very, very funny looking little guy. So let's let's add one more light here, because I do think it looks very nice. I'm just gonna go Arnold lights. Let's do an area light, a big area light here on top. Let's look, ten exposure. That's good. Uh, Eleven maybe. There we go. So yeah, this is this is why rigging is so useful and so important in the production pipeline because it will allow us to create things like this. If you remember when we did the render for the little firefly uh, back on the on the other um, exercise, the issue is at the end I just like move them and place them where they were, but they were just in their like basic pose, which was fine because of the distance. But now if we want a close up where this character is actually interacting with us in in this way. We definitely want things to be a little bit nicer. So let's move this leg down. There we go. That looks a little bit better, and I like the decoration right there. I think it looks it looks good. I think it's gonna be a good uh, thumbnail. So yeah, this is it, guys. This is a quick 
this was a quick two-day project we did uh, the rigging yesterday and the skinning today just to get a nice little pose for our character now again disclaimer this is not the whole rigging process there's one more step that i don't want to really get into because it's a little bit tedious and confusing uh, especially if you, this is not what you're uh, really going for, which is the controllers. There's a lot of different controllers and a lot of different systems like the IK system, the FK system that we can add into the character to give more uh, depth to the rig, not only to pose it, but to actually like animate some very cool stuff. Uh, but again, that's going to be a little bit more complicated and we're preparing something very cool for you guys where, where we're going to be exploring all of that. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. That's it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. Let us know in the comments if, if this is helpful. Uh, what do you think about rigging? Is it still scary? Hopefully hopefully with this, you, you lose that fear of, of rigging and you can tr try it yourself. Like finish the, the Firefly uh, tutorial. Try to give it a skeleton. Try to skin it so that you can pose it. And now anytime you do some sort of robot or object that doesn't deform as much, you're going to be able to pose it and create a, a nicer composition than what you would normally do uh, with just a, a T-pose of a character. So that's it. Leave us a comment, leave us a like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.